since you've done film, you've probably been forced to do uh, pitches for your projects and log lines and all that. Do you have a you have a shorthand version of the plot of Don't Look Down? <laughs> well, it has been four four people, four men who have murdered, although maybe one hasn't, but four men ranging from ages 18 to 81 find themselves sharing a room in a forensic psychiatry ward in a, in a uh, provincial psychiatric hospital. And the plot unfolds from there. But a lot of it is told in, in uh, uh, flashbacks to their lives and uh, how they got there. Is there a particular <coughs> focus of your work? Well, it all comes out of, uh, I joke about it, I'm too lazy to do research, so almost all the, uh, the uh, venues and the scenes and the people all come from my other life, which is, of course, psychiatry. So almost all the themes are about illness, mental illness, addictions, uh, uh, sometimes forensic psychiatry. So the theme is not every single thing I write, but most of the themes have to do with illness and mental illness. But you also have this other this this other side where you hang out with flaky artists and and writers and you smash your head up against publishing and well that that's well and I, I think um, by being a by put, having a sort of finger in each of those I don't also I also don't have to um, really face the, the the full level of uh, bullshit in each area. <laughs> So I can in, I can be a bit of an idealist in the writing and uh, filmmaking and uh, art world without having to struggle too much with the commerce of it and the and the uh, corrupt levels of each of those worlds. But they've always been something I've done. So, and I probably would have. Uh, I mean, I always wrote and I always painted and. Uh, right from teens on and they probably probably would have become full-time activities <laughs> if either I had more talent or or grew up in a different environment but I've never been able to um, I always thought it would be rather good to focus on one thing and put all energies into one thing but but yet, I've never been able to do it. Do you sometimes think that you're maybe deliberately keeping the tension between the two? Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Sometimes, uh, I mean, I have spent lots of time keeping them very far apart and deliberately far apart. Because they definitely pinch together with Don't Look Down. Right, and then as the years go on, more and more I've... Um, allowed them to come together and uh, been more aware of them feeding on one another or or fueling one another. Is so that a that, positive thing? or Because I could see that going either way. Well, no, in a very positive thing, but not necessarily a mainstream way. So that in psychiatry and in academic psychiatry and in teaching and in the practice of psychiatry, I use and teach a lot of... Uh, of um, writing techniques, which are really short story and playwright techniques. So I often speak about to mental health workers about when they're trying to comprehend what's going on with their clients. To I tell them to think like a playwright, not to think like a psychologist, psychiatrist, but to think like a playwright. How might this story unfold on a stage? <clears throat> How would you put it on the stage and? In, in, and in the process of thinking that way, you actually then watch the human behavior and watch the interactions, which leads you to the real meaning of the event. Not those silly questions like, how do you feel about, or why did you do something? Because nobody can tell you why <laughs> they do something, but if you watch their behavior and how they interact with others on stage, like Shakespeare might, then you understand why they behave like they did. So the psychiatry is informed by the by the writing, the storytelling, and the uh, and the playwriting, 
And of course, on the other hand, all of that experience feeds into the fiction that I write. Good job. Well done. Good book. Thank you. The book is Don't Look Down. It's a novel. I've been speaking with the author David Lang Dawson and Don't Look Down, published by Bridge Ross Communications.